Hi guys. I've decided to do some maintenance on my hat. I've had this thing for years and it's getting pretty worn. The leather, I've never given it a treatment so I thought I would do that. And I'm planning on putting another 20 teeth on it. <laughs> yes, I'm a bit eccentric when it comes to that. Oh, and for those who think that I wear this just as a gimmick for when I'm doing YouTube, can you see that? See that leather band there? Although it doesn't really show up, but um, yeah, the leather isn't leather. Can't really tell in this light, I don't think. That's actually meant to be black. It is just so infused with my dead skin cells that it looks like leather. <laughs> I wear this thing. Well, I used to wear it all the time, but you know. It's not part of the uniform for work, so that's I gotta take off of that. Though I used to wear it so much that you know when you take off a cask and it's got that nasty dead skin cell <laughs> smell. <laughs> that's how much I used to wear this thing. And yeah, it's kind of hard to relate how much that hat means to me. Added a little dream catcher to it. That is purely because, well, I wanted to, you know, stop it coming undone and falling off the hat. And since I attached that to it to keep it locked in place, it's never come off. See, if I was to lose this, I would be absolutely destroyed. In fact, I did lose my hat band once. It was a pretty bad day. I had lost my phone and I got attacked by a tiger snake. Which I looked it up and of uh, uh, I looked it up on a list of venom most venomous snakes and it said that it was the sixth most venomous land snake category. I don't know if that's true or not, but <laughs> it was right behind the black mamba. And after all that, I just didn't care about anything except for my hat band. Because, well, if you look up my video of, of I got attacked by a snake or something like that, um, you'll notice that I'm not wearing my hat band. When I found out my hat band was lost, I didn't give a damn about the snake. I was running all around there trying to find it as well. I'm very attached to this thing. This hat's... This hat to me is probably like a katana to a samurai if that... You know, some people will get what that means. It's about as attached as I can get to an inanimate object, pretty much. It's like part of who I am, but, you know, some people think it's just a gimmick. And I don't give a damn. I don't care. I'm going to keep wearing it. And I'm going to add more teeth to it. Alright. So. <laughs> awesome. Now it is real croc leather. You can tell it's um, got these little bumps in it. And they are running lengthways with the large rectangle as opposed to a fake piece of croc leather. You see the rectangles are facing that way and the bumps are going that way and I'm not contained in the, in the rectangles. That's the sheep the outback. Beautiful knife. But um yeah. So, 
I went and I got a leather conditioner and waterproof because I want to, I want to, you know, give it a treatment at least once before I put all the teeth all over it. Because, well, I can't very well do the treatment on it after I put the teeth on it. Now, can I? I'm just going to have going to do both sides but I'm going to leave out I'm not going to do that section because I don't want to mess up the signature from Bear Grylls yeah I got it signed by Bear Grylls when I met him don't know if you can I don't know how well you can see that but um yeah so, yeah, <laughs> that increases the value even more, <laughs> not to mention the, <laughs> yeah, so, let's get this. So I'm going to do this and take my time doing every single little one. Just rub it in and give it a nice polish. <sighs> now, some people have commented that they want to get a hat just like mine. And, well, I got... Sorry guys, this hat's a one of a kind. I know, because I made it. <laughs> Although... And well, and while there's a lot of crocodile tooth hats floating around, I like mine the best. Although, mine, there's a lot of them floating around this area. There's, um, a lot of people have them from a nearby croc farm, and they're like, got really little teeth on them, which is kind of funny. And that's the kind that I gave to Bear Grylls when I met him as a gift, you know. But, um, yeah. <laughs> you can't get one like mine. And they usually have about five teeth. Saw a guy on the weekend at a camping convention type thing who had bigger teeth on his than mine, which is a first. He had them like that that long. So I went over to admire his beautiful hat and I realised they were fake. So it's like, ha! Huh? <laughs> uh. And I absolutely laugh. Uh, I laugh so hard when I go into like souvenir stores or camping stores and they've got like crocodile tooth hats and they've got like fake croc teeth on them like made out of acrylic and stuff like what's the point of that it's like they like I can tell from across the store that they're fake they don't even look they're just hilarious and then you get these other ones that are real but they got like tiny teeth like that long I saw one hat it was a might have been an Akuba I'm not sure but it's like hundred and fifty dollars and it's got a tiny thin little strip of crocodile about so long on the front with three teeth all smaller than that than mine there's all like a centimeter long and I just laugh so much every time I see those hats yeah But, yeah, if you really do want a crocodile tooth hat, you can get them. You just can't get one like mine. And, yeah. <laughs> and even if you were to get one like mine, expect you could be paying a bit of money for it. <laughs> I mean, $150 for that little one. Can you imagine the value of this thing, especially when it's going to have 30 teeth on it, and they're all going to be well, what, well, 
the teeth I'm adding to this are going to be easily twice the length of the ones on the one that was $150 for three. Oh well. That and it's signed by Bear Grylls. <laughs> it's a fully custom thing. And I love it and I would not part with it for money. This is the most valuable thing I own to me. If I could only save one of my earthly possessions it would be this hat. I wouldn't even have to think about it. You could take all my knives and my swords and my compound bow and my all my outdoor equipment, my laptop, my camera equipment, everything, throw in my car and if it was a choice between torching the car full of all my possessions or torching my hat, well firstly I'd beat the living hell out of the person trying to make me make that decision and choose neither of them but yeah <laughs> if I really had to choose I'd save the hat it's worth just more than I can really explain yeah, so people who think I should get rid of the hat you know I had a troll tell me I should get rid of the hat yeah that's not gonna happen people comment that it's they've got a Dundee hat I just go, who's Dundee? I don't watch television, I don't know who that is, although, that's, <laughs> I'm just messing with them. Because it's fun. I actually have convinced some people that I have no idea who Dundee is, which is kind of hilarious. For one, his hat looks pretty much nothing like mine. His is round on top, mine is pointed at the front. His has a wider brim, mine has a thinner brim. I'm not sure if his is leather or felt, but mine is felt. His has wide bands made out of snake skin. It has wide bands connecting the teeth made of snake skin. Mine are thin, made out of just cow leather. His is a snake skin one, mine is a croc skin one. His teeth are different and different sizes of course but you know not gonna get that the same but um he has a different configuration and I think he has more than me but after I'm done adding these other 20 I might have more than him so that's fun yeah this is not Dundee's hat this is my hat also his doesn't have feathers mine does his does his is flat on the rim mine curves up and has wire and trimming his doesn't have a little deer, his doesn't have all the feathers and stuff. They're totally different. Oh, I might just, you know, keep doing this and bring you back when I'm ready to attach the teeth. Now, this is really stressful. Because, well, this hat band is priceless. So, yeah. So, do not want to mess this up as well it's irreplaceable sentimentally it means more to me than anything but you know you think about it if a hat with three tiny teeth on it like half like if a hat with teeth half as big as this is $150 for three teeth and these are twice as big and there's 30 of them what do you think that would be worth that and it's signed by Bear Grylls. Alright. Time to go for it. Alright, there's one. No turning back now. Gotta get all of these perfect. Right. Okay. 
a bit closer. Yeah, they're closer together than I wanted. <sighs> Gonna thread them. Hope for the best. I'm gonna turn that off because I need total concentration for this. Sort of got a bit of super glue on top of the bottom of the A in the signature. Although, if you know what Bear's signature looks like, you'll be able to recognize it still. Sadly, instead of putting another 20 on, I only had room for another 16. Guess I'll have to put the other on a wristband or something, but <laughs> ain't that oh, ain't that way better than three little teeth? <laughs> yeah. That is a serious crocodile tooth hat. <laughs> I haven't put adhesive on the teeth yet. I'll probably do that tomorrow after I get the kind I like. All I've got is super glue and I don't want to put that on because it leaves a white mark. But yeah. <laughs> also, I'll probably turn the teeth and straighten them up a bit. But I started this at about. 7, 7.30, it's now 10.30, quite stressful because I had to put holes in a, in, I had to put holes in something that's priceless, it means so much to me, but in the end I didn't destroy the hat and put another 16 teeth on it, so overall I'm pretty happy. <laughs> Now that is a hat to turn heads. Bit over the top, but I like it. <laughs> it's almost like a pure white hat band now. <laughs> oh, I love that, that's crazy. I love it. Could do with a bit of straightening, but that is... A lot of teeth. <laughs> right, well, see us.